it gets to the point where, where almost anyone, if they saved up and, and this was their goal, um, they, they could ultimately save up enough money to, to buy a ticket and move to Mars. Um, and Mars would have a labor shortage for a long time, so the jobs would not be in short supply. Full reusability is, is, is really the, the, the super hard one. Um, it, it's, it's very difficult to achieve uh, reusability for, for even an orbital system, um, and that challenge becomes even you know, substantially greater for a system that has to go to another planet. If, if things go super well, it might be kind of in the 10 year time frame. Um, but um, that there's, there's look, I, I don't want to say that's when, when it will occur, it's like there's a huge amount of risk. Um, it's it's going to cost a lot. Um, good chance we don't succeed, but we're, we're going to do our best. You, you can actually go anywhere in the solar system by, by planet hopping or, or moon hopping. So by establishing a propellant depot on in the asteroid belt or on one of the moons of Jupiter, um, you can go to you can make flights uh, from uh, Mars to Jupiter no problem. A minimum threshold for a self-sustaining uh, city on Mars or civilization would be a million people. Well, and, and you can only go every two years. If you if you um, you know if you have a hundred people per ship, that's ten thousand trips. It's probably somewhere between you know, maybe 40 to 100 years uh, to achieve a, a fully self-sustaining civilization on Mars. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.